Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. So we've been talking this week and exposing the embarrassment that is the Catholic Campaign for Human Development, also known as the CCHD. In a couple of weeks' time now, generally the Sunday before Thanksgiving, depending on which diocese or archdiocese you live in, you're going to hear from the pulpit or read some syrupy, warm, and fuzzy appeal for you to give your money to be used to fight poverty. What you will not hear is that some of that money will be used to fuel groups directly opposed to Catholic Church teaching that are heavily involved in promoting the culture of death. Groups like the Michigan Organizing Project, also known as MOP. This group was given $40,000 by the CCHD. Unfortunately, the group also openly advocates for homosexual rights and same-sex marriage. It's nice to know that you're giving your money to help this group, isn't it? As another example, United Workers Association of Maryland, or UWA, they were given $50,000 by the CCHD. Unfortunately, they are also listed on Equality Maryland's website as opposing any ban on same-sex marriage. Another group any faithful Catholic would be ecstatic to support. Now, a heads up. You will hear quite a number of voices telling you that all of this information is wrong, or lies, or uncharitable, or whatever. Watch our latest CIA episode, Catholic Investigative Agency Social Injustice, and make up your own mind. The link is right here on this page. Read the review of the CCHD grantees by a moral theologian, Dr. William Marshner of Christendom College, who flatly states that this is formal cooperation with moral evil. That link is also here. For whatever reason, pride, incompetence, extreme, incredible ignorance, or whatever, the lay staff at the CCHD refuses to acknowledge these truths or even actually address them on their own merits. These charges have been present for decades, and every time they surface, the CCHD does nothing but just deny them and then hurl accusations at the messengers. Typical. But it doesn't change the fact that the charges are true, and if you put money in the plate when this collection comes around, some of your money is going to groups that directly engage in evil. Ah, but wait, there's more. There's always more. In response to the investigations and research by others than their own staff, the CCHD was forced to stop giving money to a very small number of outfits. According to the CCHD's updated grants list for 2010 and 11, Centro Campesino and Latino Farmers Cooperative of Louisiana both received just half of the original grant amounts because the second half of the grant was canceled. The New York City AIDS Housing Network, which was recently declared ineligible for future funding due to its participation in a condom distribution program, still received the full grant. Fair enough. Once a moral problem was discovered, future funding was cut off. Yay. The CCHD's grant agreement now says on page 5 under the section titled Termination, listen to this, quote, in the event of termination of this CCHD grant, USCCB, that's the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, shall provide grantee written notice of such termination and of the cancellation of any portions of the grant that remain to be paid. Good, this has been done. USCCB may, in its discretion, require grantee to refund to USCCB the full amount of the CCHD grant and to transfer title to USCCB of any property purchased by the grantee with CCHD grant funds." End quote. The CCHD has the right to recall all granted money even to the point of confiscating property purchased with the CCHD grant. However, as of last week, there is no indication whatsoever that the CCHD intends to demand Catholic money, your Catholic money, be restored. So in these three examples, how much are we talking about? Altogether, these groups got $60,000. Sure would be nice to demand that money back like the agreement they signed says you can, right? Now, $60,000 may not seem like a lot in relation to the millions that have been given to groups like this, but you know what? I can think of at least, oh, 100 or so crisis pregnancy centers that could use $60,000 and put it to good moral use. 
So by their own admission, the CCHD has defunded groups because of moral violations. It has the right to demand the money back, even the right to confiscate or have the property signed over to it that has equal value that, that, that was purchased with the money, but so far hasn't lifted a finger, as far as anyone can tell, to get back your money and direct it toward a cause you were told it was going to in the first place. Hey, social justice crowd at the CCHD, here's a big shout out to you all. Isn't justice about giving each according to his due? Catholics gave money for a specific purpose and it was spent on something they had no idea was going on. Get their money back for them, or as the expression goes, show me the money. But what response do you get from the CCHD? Aw, uh, pish posh. You mean old traditional minded Catholics, stop being so uncharitable. In the meantime, they take your money, give it to pro-death groups, deny it, lie about it, get caught, then defund the groups and make no move to get the money back that they have every legal right to and actually a moral responsibility to. Do you really want to give the CCHD another dime of your money? Watch this episode of CIA Social Injustice and make up your own minds. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.